So Laura wins by unanimous decision, uh, as you guys expected. Went 3-0 and today, <laughs> so I'm back on my winning ways. But I want to give a shout-out to Ronnie Shields. Ronnie Shields worked his butt off today. <laughs> three fights, getting three checks. It's a good day for the Shields family, man. His jaw going to be tired, and maybe his his right knee from stepping up on the ring on the ring apron all the time. But, you know, I was watching Laura fight. You guys remember Greg Maddox when he played for the Atlanta Braves uh, in the mid to late 90s? He was the best pitcher in baseball, uh, chain speeds well, never threw a fastball over 91 miles an hour. That's what Laura reminds me of, you know. Uh, does a great job at dictating the tempo, whether he's on his bicycle or whether he's re or whether he's moving to the left or moving to the right and resetting his feet. He did a hell of a job in this fight. I don't know why the fans boo him. He's such a tactician. But, you know, uh, I would say 50% of the fans are true boxing fans and 50% are on a date. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but uh, hell of a fight, man. Uh, I enjoyed this card. Uh, I'm waiting on a, this was a good card. Good, complete card. Uh, I'll digress and say this is not the card of the year. But strong card. Strong B. Strong Strong, strong B card. Very enjoyable. Um, I don't know what's next for Lauren. I wouldn't want to fight him. You know, he's just going to put you in a trance. And getting back to fighters, young fighters, this is why footwork is so important. And more important than setting your feet first. Laura is like Manny Pacquiao in a sense. Sets his feet before you do. And by the time you set your feet, you've been hit by a one, two, and, and now you got to go stalk him again. Laura does an exceptional job at setting his feet first. So, uh, uh, aspiring boxers, start cross training, you know, and uh, work on your agilities, your footwork, your ladder drills, your hops, you know, your cross steps. So, what's next for the 154 pound division? We'll find out after uh, Demetrius Andre's fight. You know, he has a tough fight coming up against Willie Nelson, and that will clear the path for our fall fights. Uh, summer fights are pretty set. We got two big heavyweights. And uh, I don't believe Ronnie Shields will have these guys fight each other. So it might be, you know, uh, we may not get the fights we want. Obviously, brothers are not going to fight each other. That will be a 12-round sparring session. Uh, but uh, it's a good day. So let's get let's enjoy it. I didn't see Devin Haney. So uh, if you guys get a chance, let me know how Devin Haney. I know he won. Someone commented. I saw that, but I didn't get a chance. To see it. So, Barbershop Conversations. Laura is a hell of a boxer. <laughs> Again, he reminds me of Greg Maddox. If you guys, Greg Maddox was a master pitcher. He was like the Stephen Hawkins of, of, of pitching. What Stephen Hawkins is the chest, Greg Maddox was to, uh, was the pitching and what Laura is the boxing. So, uh, Barbershop Conversations. Talk to you guys soon. And, uh, who should these guys fight next? Obviously, J Rock is going to be in the pitcher for Jamal. But Laura's going to have to dance. He's going to have to dance up and down weight classes to get a good fight. Um, he needs a payday, too. And shout out to Don King. Don King was in the building today. Y'all thought he was dead. <laughs> Don King is in the building. So uh, that's it. Barbershop Conversations. Talk to you guys soon. And don't forget to tell your girlfriends to subscribe to, 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 subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And your brothers and your mamas and your papas. All right. Holla at you guys. Peace out.